All right, so Springfest 2024 has officially arrived in Prodigy. We see the Wizard Watch post, Springfest is on now. Complete battles and collect magic eggs to earn limited time rewards. Unfortunately, I have to say, in my opinion, this Springfest is, as a whole, disappointing. And I'll go over the reasons in this video. But we see Lamplight Town here. Nothing has changed. You still got all the carrots strewn around the floor. All of that, that hasn't changed. The only one that's gotten a, a background remodel so far for Lamplight Town is Winterfest. And Springfest did not. There's our magic eggs. We'll go do that later in this video. But again, I think the Springfest is a bit disappointing. Let's go ahead and talk about the task rewards, our stage rewards for this year. Stage one, we have to do five battles and it'll give us 25 flower works. And if we are members, 15 extra magic eggs. That's pretty common, but I think they increased the amount. I think it was like 10 or 15 before of flower works. So that's good. So stage two gives us the dyed eggs furniture item for 10 battles after you complete stage one. And I really like that they have added this one. It was previously obtainable in the April 2022 member box. So it is great to see this one make a comeback in Springfest. I had hoped that it would and it did. So that is one plus. Stage three, very disappointing. Gatorade is the pet and that's for 15 battles. You'll get 35 extra magic eggs for that one. Gatorade is obtainable right now by buying it in Ocean Outfitters. So there is no point in making it a task reward. And I find it very disappointing that Prodigy did not create a new pet for this year's Spring Fest. And stage four gives us the Benny Buddy, Benny Bunny Buddy. I know that's a bit of a tongue twister, but that has been updated to BHD. I'm glad to see it return here. It was obtainable in the April 2021 member box. So it's great, a great fit for Springfest. So that those are the task rewards. Again, I find them pretty disappointing as a whole, but I do like the return of the dyed eggs and Benny Bunny. I don't even have the Benny Bunny. So that's great that I get to get that now. But other than that, I think Gatorade is very disappointing because they needed to create a new pet and evolution for it because Gatorade and Coast Tail were from 2022's Springfest and they can already be bought in Ocean Outfitters. So that's a bad choice on Prodigy's part. And we're going around, you see here, and we're going to the Fox Camp. We see that Verna has gotten a redesign just like all the other NPCs. See Don Zorro here has also gotten a redesign to BHD. I'll show the other ones once I get to the Bunny Camp. And unfortunately, another big disappointment here, nothing has been added to the Springfest 2024 shop this time around. That makes this the only festival that has not had an updated shop to add previously unobtainable items inside of it. There aren't even the items from last year's Springfest inside. The Flower Duble is not in here, certainly not the Quill and Scroll. So that's, I find it super disappointing. I really wanted new items in the shop. I talked about those items that I wanted in my predictions video a couple months back. And we're just going through all these. They're the same. The shop prices haven't even changed. Really disappointing. And I would love to see that actually change soon from now. Like hopefully they make an update to it. But I would not count on that. I don't expect that Prodigy would actually do that. Unfortunately make another update. But it has happened in the past. So it's possible. Let's go up to the fox, sorry, bunny camp that's out this way. Most of Lamplight Town isn't even Springfest themed. I really don't know why, like parts of it aren't. So Bargo here has a redesign. Like to see him in HD. And so does Harriet Hood. She has had a redesign. Looks great, I think. I think all of them do. So I like those animations. Let's go. Here's the shop. Again, nothing new. Everything is the same from last year's Springfest. Nothing, absolutely nothing new added. Very disappointing. I really think, Prodigy, if you're listening to this, I hope that this does not continue. Please put more effort into the festivals like you used to. Do not do Summerfest like this. That is very important. 
that Summerfest is not disappointing like this because I know a lot of people find this disappointing that nothing has been added and there's not even a new pet in evolution for this year's Spring Fest. Very disappointing. I mean, even I'm the one saying that as somebody who supports Prodigy as much as I do and loves their stuff, uh, I really don't find, I find this a big disappointment. But we do have a new battle background, that's one plus. Um, that's pretty much the only plus I would say. The new battle background and the addition of the Benny Bunny and the dyed eggs are pretty much the only plus. Well, and the NPC redesigns. Those are the only pluses that I can find in this year's Spring Fest, and that's really unfortunate. I expected a lot more in Prodigy. I really hope you learn from this. We did get 10 magic eggs though from that, and one battle out of five complete for the first task reward. I will be completing those in another video, so keep watch for that. And anyway, what do you think about this year's Spring Fest for 2024? Are you disappointed like I am, or do you think that this was just fine? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.